Oh hey lads, it's Danny here today, bring you lot a lovely video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to prove the integral of tan x dx. So before we jump into it, I want you lot to leave a like and subscribe and let's get right into it then. To solve this integral, it's very straightforward. What you lot are going to need to do is you are going to basically represent tan x using a trig identity, more precisely sine of x divided by cos of x. These are equivalent, basically. And the reason for it, because we're going to set it up to, so to use a u sub technique from integral calculus. So the way we do this is we're going to say that u is equal to cos of x. Once we have done that, we are basically going to take the derivative on both sides of this equation. When you take the derivative of cos, you are going to have negative sine. And, you know, obviously when you take a derivative of u, you're going to have du. So once you have it written in this form, we are then going to solve for dx. We're going to rearrange it to solve for dx. So dx in this case is equal to du divided by sine of x. We are going to take this dx and substitute it inside our integral. So let's do that straight away. So once we have done that, we are going to cross out the terms that are alike. Notice you have a sine of x in the numerator and you have one in the denominator. So that's going to basically cancel out. And what you are going to be left with when we rewrite it is negative the integral of 1 divided by u du. We can easily solve this because this is one of the standard integrals that we can solve. And that's going to just yield negative ln of absolute value of u plus c. Don't forget your plus c. Once you have reached this stage, the last step that you are going to need to do is basically replace this u is equal to cos of x where the u term is. And this is the answer to this problem. However, you can go a step beyond this and write it in a more simplified manner. But if you write it like this on the test, it's full marks. But if you want to continue and simplify, what you lot can do is use the laws of logarithmics and move this negative scalar as an exponent. So once this is basically written as an exponent cos of x to the power of negative one is basically according to trig identities equal to ln absolute value of secant x plus c and this is the answer and this is how you prove the integral of tan of x so if you enjoyed this video please drop a like and subscribe and i'll see you later